Hello economic students and welcome to unit four and the good news is that you have climbed the mountain of economics and we are now skiing downhill into uh, what I think is the best part of the VCE course. So unit four is all about policy. We've done all the hard work to understand the theories behind economics and now we're going to think about what's happening in Australia right now and how is it affecting the quality of your life. So the first dot point is an introductory dot point. The first two policies that we're looking at are aggregate demand policies. Now, remember, we've done a lot of work on aggregate demand. We should remember this, but the formula for aggregate demand is AD equals consumption spending plus investment spending, which is business spending plus government spending, which is what we're going to look at in budgetary policy plus X minus M. So whenever you think about aggregate demand policies, you should be thinking about this formula. And the two aggregate demand policies that we will be focusing on are monetary policy and budgetary policy. And we're probably going to start with budgetary policy. You need to understand their importance and what they do to stabilize the business cycle. In this video, we'll just get into some introductory con concepts. So I want you to think about aggregate demand policy as being two tools that both Big Jim over here, Jim Chalmers, who is the treasurer uh, of the federal uh, of, of the uh, federal government, uh, probably the second most important person to do with economics in Australia. He is in charge of budgetary policy. He's in charge of government's revenues, so how they collect their taxes and maybe sell assets, and how they spend their money. So what sort of things they're likely to spend into the economy versus what they're likely to take out of the economy. And think back to our circular flow model there. The second is monetary policy, which is all about the manipulation of interest rates. Now, up until a couple of years ago, maybe a year ago, very few people would care much about interest rates. They were always going down, and they certainly wouldn't know who this guy, Big Phil, is over here. Phil Lowe, who is the governor of the Reserve Bank of Australia. Now, I actually just went online to look for a photo of, uh, of Big Phil here, uh, and there was a, a you know one of those uh, tabloid pages that someone had taken a photo of him outside his house, and he's become notorious in Australia as of late because he is the one who is increasing interest rates and trying to slow down aggregate demand, and obviously people don't like him for that because it's hurting their household budget. But I really want you to think of these two tools uh, budgetary and monetary policy uh, as tools that can be used by either Jim Chalmers or Phil Lowe to impact the level of aggregate demand, to fix the economy, if you like. When aggregate demand aggregate demand's too high, they're going to use these tools whoops, to slow down aggregate demand. If it's too low, they want to speed it up. And really what we're talking about here is smoothing out the level of act economic activity on the business cycle. So we want to make sure that it doesn't get too strong or too soft or too low, if you like. So if you remember our business cycle here, if we were moving into a contraction, Big Phil and uh, Jim Chalmers would get out their tools and they'd be thinking, okay, well, the economy's slowing down. This is bad for living standards. We need to get spending increasing, increase aggregate demand. And so what they might do is they might cut interest rates. They might cut taxes. Whoops, taxes and they might increase spending. So it might be some new infrastructure spending. And the idea would be that instead of falling down to a deep, deep uh, recession, that they would sort of smooth out the level of economic activity. Sorry, I forgot the G there. Uh, and if we were moving into an expansion, and this is sort of what's happening at the moment, if maybe the economy was running too hot and we were worried about too much economic activity, a tight labor market, and high inflation. Well, Phil Lowe is going to get out his tool, the only tool he has, and it certainly is a hammer at the moment because it's smashing a lot of the economy. And he would raise, him and the rest of the board, would raise interest rates to slow spending and decrease aggregate demand. And we're obviously going to do lots of work on how this relationship here works. And if we're looking at budgetary policy, Jim Chalmers is probably going to maybe increase taxes although he's not doing that, he probably should, and decrease spending. He has done a bit of this, decrease spending from the government's coffers into the economy. And the idea then would be we don't have too steep an expansion, we have like this nice, smooth ride. So, a bit of an introductory dot point into 
the use of our two aggregate demand policies, monetary and budgetary. They're two sort of separate outcomes, but they're part of one. We do a lot of work on each of them, so don't stress if you don't get it for now, but we need to be thinking about them as aggregate demand policies. Reach out if you've got any questions. Uh, bye for now.